What is up, party people? Is Algorand full of nerds? nerds? That's a question that was posed on Twitter by JJ. JJ wants to know Is Algorand full of nerds? So, Web3 in general seems to be full of nerds. You know, I was talking with, with our boy on Twitter, the Coding Jedi. We made a video about him. He is now with Polygon. And he's at this Web3 Summit, and this blockchain summit out, I think he's in Portugal. And he was, he was amazed at how many people were at the summit. It was packed. But a lot of these people have no clue what blockchain is. And he's like, what, why, why is that so? And I told him, I go, hey, you know, a lot of the stuff we, we talk about, we hear people talking about, is developers talking to developers. So developers are talking scientifically, they're talking technical, they're talking in a way that the average person does not understand what is happening, what is going. It's just too confused and nobody is simplifying Web3. And that, I think, is probably the biggest problem that Web3 has. They need to simplify it so that the average person can understand what it is and what are the advantages of using Web3 over Web2. And that's what would ultimately lead to mass adoption. So then, what about Algorand? Is Algorand full of nerds? Well, let's take a look at some of the members of the team. Let's start off with our boy, Freddy Stanchi. So our boy from Brazil, Freddy Stanchi, he studied physics. You know, he likes studying. There's, there's a lot of complicated math and physics. It's calculus. That definitely makes him a nerd. He's got to study derivatives. Double integers or... God, I forgot my math. But I remember, you know, when we took physics, we had to study calculus. We had to, you know, study delta this, delta that, you know, change in this, take the derivative of that, double integration, triple integration. Oh, crap. That shit is nerd stuff. Excuse the language. So let's take a look at another team member, Camilo from, from Latin America, from Colombia. He's been working in technology for a long time. That means he also needs to have studied math. He needed to study some advanced math. He needed to study logic to be able to code. That makes him a nerd. So, okay, so let's go further up the chain. Let's go to Silvio. He's a professor at MIT. Definitely, definitely, definitely a nerd. You can't just be a professor at MIT and not be a nerd. All right, so what about some of the content creators for Algorand? What about our favorite milkshake? Is he a nerd? Well, you know, he comes up with some pretty amazing math on his channel. He's able to link the stars to the stock market. That takes some nerd knowledge. Okay, man, it's starting to look like we're full of nerds. What about me, am I a nerd? I took calculus when I was in college. You know, I took physics when I was in college. I have a doctorate. I work in healthcare, I took genetics, I studied genetics. A bunch of science courses I spent most of my college days in the library while everybody was out drinking. I guess that makes me kind of a nerd as well. So what does that mean for Algorand? What does that mean for the party people? Well, it means this. It means that when the rest of the world wakes up to Web3, when mainstream decides to come in, we're gonna be partying because we're into this project early. Everybody's gonna to wanna to come to our party because we are the party people. So Algorand may be full of nerds, but Algorand is also full of the party people and we are going to be the ones that are celebrating. So this is good news for all of us that are here because we're into this project early. Anyway guys, I'm not affiliated with any of these entities except myself. Always do your own due diligence and until next time, peace out, safe invest.